Okay, in this next part of the tutorial, we'll create a, a HUD. We'll edit the HUD using Skillform Studio. Create a button that will activate something in the 3D world, as well as a counter that will update based off of events in the 3D world. First, let's import our assets. We can do that by either hitting the import button up here or dragging, dropping the objects in the scene. So do this for a button. We'll do it for a button icon. And let's position the button icon here. I mean, a quick way to do this is to go to the widget creator, select button, name our button, and give it a name, spawn. Button. And what this button will do, hopefully in our 3D world, is spawn these cubes that will fall from the sky. And we don't need a name because we're going to replace the label with an icon. So let's select our background, which is our button circle, and hit this plus icon to create it. Uh, first, let's actually change the size of this thing to be the actual size of the button for the image. So A2. So the first thing we'll do is head over to a widget creator create our button, we'll name it spawn button, give it a size, size of our image is 172 by 172, select it, and create it. We'll then go in and edit this, since we don't need a label, We'll simply just delete the label, place our icon instead, and then let's change some of the states. We'll change the color. We can do that by adding a tint. 100% and make it white. So let's uh, replace our label with an icon. Let's place it here in the center. And that's it. Now let's add our counter. We do that by adding a text field. Let's change the size. Make it a little smaller. And change it to zero. And name this to counter. And since this is white, we're just going to change it to maybe a dark blue so that it's visible in our project. And that's it. And now we'll edit the script. Now that we've modified the UI HUD, we want to have the button perform some action. To accomplish this action, we're going to use a mix of flow and a little bit of scripting in order to communicate between St uh, Stingray and Scaleform Studio and vice versa. So for our little sample problem, we're going to have the button um, cause boxes to fall from the sky and you'll be able to to uh, toggle the falling boxes on and off. So to that end, the first thing that I did was modify the spawn button handler that we created uh, as part of the wi widget creation 
to fire a start spawning and a stop spawning event and to keep track of whether or not boxes are falling from the sky, so if it's falling or not. And of course, it just fires this event each time you click the button. And you can see here in Flow, I've created a registration for these events, stop spawning, start spawning, with the scale form register custom event uh, listener node. And I've tied it to an external uh, event from Stingray. So this lets us fire external events from the existing Lua code and indicate when something has happened. So in this case, we've created a custom event fired from within Stingray called HUD loaded. And you can see in the player HUD.Lua file, once the HUD is done loading from the load project, we simply fire this event to trigger and flow and register our event listeners. In addition to that, we've modified the existing Stingray Lua to show the mouse cursor and give us focus so we can click on the button with the mouse while we're doing things. So now that we've registered our event listeners and we've set things up in Flow to handle them, we need a little bit of logic in the um, Flow system to fire events and respond to these events. So on a level update, we check to see if a start spawning event or a stop spawning event is fired with the scale form check custom event listeners node, and if the event is found, it will fire um, a little trigger here. So you see we fired event found on, on stop to disable on a timer and start to enable on a timer. And this timer is just looping and every one second it triggers and pulses and causes a box to spawn. And each time the box spawns, it sends a message back to Scaleform saying increment your counter uh, by one. So a little bit about these counter and these messages between flow. Um, because of the the limitations of the flow system. When we send custom events to scale form from flow, uh, we've chosen to send uh, colon del delimited lists. So we have our action kind of message here, then a colon and the arguments. Um, so one, we want to increment by one. Uh, you can make this delimited by other things if you modify the um, your Lua code on the scale form side, but we just went with colons because that was the simplest. And um, but if you're going to return messages to Stingray, they can also have payloads, but they'll be um, the existing Lua code for the flow nodes looks for colons, so those need to be colon delimited. And the, uh, the payload will come out of the table here so you can pull data out of it and do what you want to do with it. Um, and that's hooking up the flow, and it's really as simple as that. But on the scale form side, we have to modify our main menu code a little bit that we had already for the template. So the first thing we need to do is kind of get access to our counter, which is a text field. So we get our counter as a contain from the container opponent and we use active by name to get the counter that we, and we also then want to get the text field to modify it. So we get the counter text field. These are both named in scale form. And we set the initial count to zero and we set the count, the text field to be the initial count. So you see the two string on the number, very simple, straightforward thing. And we slightly modify our uh, custom event listener to listen for these messages from flow. So as you can see, we made a note that we use colon delimited strings to pass arguments. So we do a simple parse of the, the string that we get, build a table from the arguments, and then we check to see if the first element, the, the target string, is increment counter, and then we get the increment value, which is just one in this case, and we update the count. And it's really pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and run an example. So I'm just going to use the test level button to run the level. And you can see we have our counter right here, and we have our button right here. And we're going to cause the button to start falling. You can see they're, they're counting. Let's see where they're, they're falling behind us. So you can see right there. The buttons begin to fall. Our keyboard presses to light up. Uh, you come down and turn the button off and they stop falling. Unfortunately, with this sample, the camera and the mouse are sort of linked right now, so it's a little bit awkward, but for an example, it gets you there. And then we can quit out of the test level, and that's how you use Flow combined with Script to do your integrations between Scaleform and Stingray.